Slog FPV. So you've been flying your Tiny Hawk for a while now and you're getting pretty comfortable with it, but you notice that it's pretty sluggish and you would like to do maybe some macro moves, but it seems to be pretty slow in how it responds to your sticks. And this really isn't uh, the fault of the Tiny Hawk, it's really the rate profile that Emacs has set up. So they set it up more for a beginner, but what I'm gonna do is show you how to set up a rate switch so that you can go ahead and on the fly uh, change your rates with a switch. Now you can change your rates with your on-screen display within your goggles, but uh, setting up a rate switch is way more convenient. And uh, so what I'm gonna show you here is uh, the default rates that um, Emacs put on here. I mean, if you look at the max degrees per second, it's pretty low, 400, 400, 400. And then the other thing, if you'll notice, they even put a throttle expo on this, which is fine when you're learning. Uh, the whole idea here is when you're learning, um, you know, when you're trying to learn throttle, throttle stick movement, you know, people have a tendency to move the throttle too much. So this will smooth it out. You know, right here, it's the, the throttle curve is flattened out. So that way, if you happen to move the throttle too quickly and too much, um, it'll kind of smooth that out. So, which is good for a beginner, but not necessarily once you get more comfortable with flying uh, the Tiny Hawk. So uh, if you notice, um, Emacs has three rate pro profiles already set up. They have rate profile one, which is the default. And then you can go to rate profile two, and you notice the max degrees per second have uh, significantly increased um, from 400, 400 here on roll and pitch to 1,000, 1,000. Uh, they do still have quite a bit of RC Expo on this, as you can see. So you still, through this portion of the stick movement, it's still pretty flat. Um, then on the ends, um, you can see that it, it curves quite a bit, which is more for um, doing acrobatic type moves. So with that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set up your, your uh, radio on how to set up a rate switch so that you can select you know, the three different profiles that uh, Emacs is given. So hopefully you already have your remote controller set up uh, per the instructions in the pamphlet that came with your Tiny Hawk. I'm just gonna be showing you how to add a rate switch mix. Uh, if you haven't set up your radio, please refer to the Tiny Hawk pamphlet that came with your Tiny Hawk. So with that, um, after you power it on, go to the menu page you're going to want to make sure that Tiny Hawk is selected. And to select it, you know, you just scroll down to the model and then hit the enter key. In this case, I'm already selected. Then what you're going to do is hit the page button. One, two, three, four, and you'll get to the mixer screen. Um, the procedure that I'm showing you will work for any radio controller that's running OpenTX, including the QX7. This happens to be uh, nine, an X9D plus Tyrannus radio. It just has more switches. Uh, so then um, when you're in the mixer screen, you'll notice that these should all be filled in. Um, I've added labels and my channel mapping is a little different than the default that the pamphlet shows. So um, I just have a base model that I copy over and over. But uh, channel in beta flight, channels one through four labeled channels one through four. What's a little confusing is channel 5 is actually aux 1, channel 6 is aux 2, channel 7 is aux 3. So we're going to be adding a mix that's not in the pamphlet on channel 8. So what you're going to do is scroll down to channel 8, you're going to hit enter, and you're going to put a name in here. So you'll hit the enter key and the plus key until you get to, we're going to call it rate, a rate mix. It's always good to label things. And then once you get to R, you're gonna long press the enter key and it'll make it a capital R. And then we're gonna put in rate plus go up to T. Hit enter, then E, and hit 
enter. Then what we're gonna do is hit exit and we're gonna scroll down to the source. And in this case, we want it to be a switch. So we're gonna hit enter here and it's gonna come up with this menu and you're gonna scroll down to switches, hit enter. And now all you have to do, um, I'm gonna be using this switch, three position switch right here as my source. So you just move that up and down and it automatically fills in the switch, in this case, SE. And now we're done, you just hit exit. And we'll just make sure that the switch is working properly. You'll notice that um, the bar here moves. This is the down position. This is the center position and here's the up position. So the switch is working correctly. So now we're gonna go, we're gonna exit out of here. And now we're gonna go into beta flight and I'll show you how to set that up. So now that we have the radio controller set up with a three position switch being a rate uh, profile switch on aux four, we wanna go into beta flight and just make sure that it's working properly. So you can see that when we go to the receiver tab here, that we can see that uh, the three position switch that's now on aux four is working properly. So down position, middle position, and an up position. Then what you're gonna wanna do is go over here on the right hand side and enable expert mode. You'll see that some additional tabs come up. You are gonna wanna select adjustments. Then what's gonna happen is uh, when you first come into this screen, I've already had it set up, but it'll look like this. You'll have aux one. The sliders will be over on the left-hand side and it'll say no changes. What you're wanting to do here is enable three rows for the three different rates. You're gonna select aux four as the channel. You're gonna move the sliders to the correct position so that when it's in the down position, it's centered between the slider for rate profile one, then the middle, that would be rate profile two, and then up would be rate profile three. Then uh, for what you're gonna be applying, you need to select, you can select different things. In this case, you're gonna to want to select the uh, rate, selecting the rate profile. So uh, you need to go ahead and select that, like I've done here on all three rows. We're gonna be using slot uh, one. Um, you could use a different slot, but since slot one isn't currently used, that's what we're gonna uh, just leave it at slot one. And then uh, you're gonna select aux four as the channel. So this is just saying if enabled, when channel aux four is in this position, we're gonna apply a rate profile selection using slot one via aux four channel. So once that's all selected, you hit save. Then when you go back to the PID tuning tab, when it's in the down position, it's rate profile one. When it's in the middle position, you see that it's changing. Then when it's in the up position, it's selecting rate profile three. Uh, so this will allow you to keep, you know, the down position is what you've been flying with. The middle position, um, you notice, selects rate profile two, which is a higher rate, more for uh, flying um, acrobatic moves, whereas this would be um, in the low position, would be more for what you would do for, um, you know, racing. Those are more uh, akin to uh, racing rates. So with that, now you have it set up as a three position switch. Another thing I would suggest is changing the throttle, throttle expo. Um, I think it's, uh, if you want it to be a little more responsive, just take your throttle curve and I would set this to zero on all three of your rates. And so on each one of those, you're gonna need to save it. So this is rate uh, profile one, save that, then put your switch in the middle position. It'll select rate profile two. Then you're gonna wanna change your throttle expo to zero and save that. You notice that it's linear now. And then you're gonna want to go to rate profile three 
and set that also to zero. Or if, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to, um, but it'll make the um, Tiny Hawk more responsive if you do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set up my rates. Um, I uh, don't like Expo, so what I typically um, fly with is uh, higher rates without a lot of Expo on it. That's just my own, that's just my own personal pre preference here. So I usually have my RC rate up at one and and yeah that's one and then I set my super rate up to 800 or I say 0.8 I should say so I get max degrees per second of a thousand and I do that also for pitch And my yaw, I like a higher higher yaw. Um, I have that set for 0.75, and then I don't like uh, any any expo. Um, I'm just used to a more linear feel, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what you should run with. You should try different rates, like the ones that Emacs has as the default for the three rates. Try those out, and if you don't like them. Um, you can go ahead and change them. So with that, thanks for watching. And I have a short little video that just shows how well the Tiny Hawk actually really does fly, even though it's more of a stretch X. It can uh, do acrobatic moves. Uh, it does it quite well. And the PID tuning on this, I think, is excellent. So with that, uh, thanks for watching.